Hello, 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 dreamers, and welcome back to Dream Queen by Perla. So, Aries, this is your weekly check-in. Um, and what I was picking up with you guys was this energy of either you guys have really been working on yourself. Let's put it this way. Um, what, I've, what I was picking up was an energy of um, like either working out, eating better, eating healthier, um, really getting your outer exterior, let's put it this way, your outer image on point, right? Um, <clears throat> for some of you, this is definitely working very um, diligently when it comes to um, either a project or a business or within your your own career or something like that but there's definitely this energy of like um, really uh, putting in the work right and a lot of you are <laughs> Are, are, are kind of waiting right for this for for the outcome right for like what it is what is it that you're gonna get for this right um what are the rewards that you're reaping from this right um and in, in all of this right where Aries is in this energy of um, focusing on thyself right um focusing on your healing focusing on again there, there's something that that comes up when it comes to your physical um, um your, your physical um <laughs> your physical image right um where it is it's like maybe somebody hasn't seen you in a couple of months and then they see you and it's like you're you've completely transformed your body in some way shape or form um maybe you got a new hairdo or something like that but there is this energy of like somebody is being um somebody's kind of looking at you with fresh eyes right and they're coming in to um offer you something right they're coming in with an offer some type of offer this may be an offer of love this can be an offer of you know just simply asking for forgiveness over something or whatever it is and it's like aries is kind of like well where are you at type of thing right like if you want to be a part of what i'm doing or be a part of what i'm creating or be a part of my energy you kind of have to be where i'm at right so if you've gotten lately like let's say into like workouts and things like that it's like somebody wants to work out with you but it's like can you keep up with me um if you are within your own spiritual journey right you you've gotten to a certain level where you are your perspective has changed right with within certain things and it's like people are trying someone is trying to talk to you about either religion or about spirituality and you're just like you know what um it's like either the person is coming with um with a conversation or with something that kind of throws you off like kind of like nah that's really not what I'm talking about so there is this energy of like really urging or trying your best to connect with individuals that are at the same level right with you um energetically the same frequency and kind of like not taking anything that is outside of your frequency right because your focus the, the reason why you have been working on something right whether it is again your physical body your um, spiritual body whatever it is you have been putting so much work in is to help you elevate is to help you get to the next le level so you're <laughs> I'm just laughing because Dina is drinking water and she's so loud um, I should have closed the door I know but anyways moving forward is like you're it's, it's kind of like you're handing out tests right um like questionnaires let's put it this way handing out questionnaires to to those that want to be a part of your life to those that want to be a part of what you're doing what you're creating and it is simply because again you you came out of a very tough cycle right you you had to put a lot of work in you had to stay very determined you had to stay very focused so if people that are coming towards you whether you know friendship love co-workers you know people that want to work with you on projects and things like that if they don't have the same determination the same focus that you have then you already kind of know that it's not going to work right so I am definitely picking up some type of um, emotional bond, right? Somebody that is trying to offer you a certain connection or is trying to come and offer you love, right? Trying to offer, someone is trying to offer you something, let's put it this way. And you're like sit, literally like sitting there like, well, I have like 25 questions for you. Um, do you, um, have you ever, do you, have you ever, what do you think about, um, and, and that's kind of like the energy that you're in, again, because you're in this space where you're not wasting time right you don't 
want to feel like you're wasting any more time. You don't want to feel like you're looking at your life with regrets anymore. You want to take all the chances that are available. You want to take all the opportunities that are available in front of you. But to do so, to take full advantage of them, you have you have realized or you have come to recognize that you have to be with those that are in alignment with you, that those that are in, within your frequency, right? So if you consider yourself a fighter, if you consider yourself a warrior, you want to be with other fighters. You want to be with other warriors. And we're not talking about like going out and starting fights or anything like that. We're just talking about like that energy of like the go-getters, right? So you want to be, you're in that energy of like the go-getters, right? The, those that are getting things started, those that are that are pushing through, that are growing, that are um, breaking down barriers. And you want to connect yourself with individuals that are within the same energy. And there's nothing wrong with that. Um you know, of course, there's definitely this energy of some people are just kind of looking at you like, oh, just because you you did this or you did that, you feel like you're better. And you're just like, nah, that's not even it. If that's the way that you're seeing it or that's the way that you're perceiving it, then it definitely that's a clear answer that maybe those individuals within themselves are not ready to be a part of what you're creating. They're not ready to be a part of what it is that you're doing. And that is kind of quite simple. And that is basically how you're breaking it down to people. So we are using the Witch's Tarot. I'm going to just go ahead and pick out three cards. So we have the Knight of Cups in the upright, the Ten of Swords in the reverse, and then the Ace of Wands in the upright position. So again, there is definitely this energy of like not wanting to settle, right? The offers that are coming in is not that you're dismissing them right away, is that you're you're putting some logic, right? You're giving us some logical thoughts. You're really thinking about it thoroughly before moving forward with anyone or with anything, with any type of offer. Again, because there is this sense of not wanting to go back to what you were released not wanting to go back to to that pain or to that hurtful place or maybe it is that maybe you started projects with people in the past and they didn't held in they didn't held their end part like their their end side of the of the um, of the agreement let's say and therefore you ended up losing maybe you ended up losing money or you ended up losing followers or whatever it is and therefore now you're in this space that whatever offers are coming in you're really looking at them but you're also looking at the person that is making the offer can they really deliver what it is that they're offering because they're coming in offering you know this grand new thing right this this they're, they're excited right they have that excitement but what is beyond that excitement is what you're asking what is beyond that what is going to keep you motivated what is going to keep you pushing forward when you feel um, the pressure of it right when you feel like you don't want to get up and do anything are you going to either way get up and do it so those are the type of questions that you're asking this individual that is coming in um, with an offer again if this is a love it's like well when you're tempted let's say with with someone or with an opportunity to be unfaithful are you going to take it or are you going to see it through these are the type of things that you're asking whoever it is that is coming in with an offer for you Aries and it is more of like you have learned how to set those boundaries right and it really doesn't matter what anybody else thinks or anybody else is saying um, this is more about what you feel at the moment that you need to stay aligned right and to keep on pushing forward with your dreams and your goals well Aries that is all that I have for you for this week as always guys thank you for all the love and support thank you for subscribing liking and sharing the channel thank you for those that have been donating to the channels now if you would like to go ahead and book a private reading the link to my website is down below in the description as well as the Facebook and Instagram pages I do post daily energies on Instagram and Facebook have a wonderful beautiful amazing day Love you all. Bye-bye.